Hey guys, today we're going to be reading this book called Rabbit Ears. It's about a little bunny who does not like getting his ears washed. Hopscotch knew what he liked and what he did not like. He did like rabbity. That's his little stuffed animal. Um, little rabbit building a tower 12 blocks high with no wobbles at all and very chocolatey chocolate cake with extra icing on the side. Mm. Hopscotch did not like lumpy pudding, cold wet paws, and losing rabbity just before bedtime even though rabbity was usually found exactly where Hopscotch had left him. And Hopscotch knew for absolute certain the thing he did not like the most was uh -oh, having his ears washed. Oh no, he's running away. Mom's like, come back. Hopscotch liked his ears dry. He did not like them soapy. The soap always ran away, then ended up in his nose and made him sneeze. The sneezes shook him from his soggy, drippy ears to his toes. Hopscotch didn't like it one little bit. Very sneezing. <laughs> Hopscotch would do a lot not to have his ears washed. With Rabbity's help, he would hide them. Oh. Sometimes he had to pretend that he had suddenly turned into a cat. A cat with very small, clean ears. Or he would hold on to them very, very tightly. Hopscotch's mummy tried tricking him. Where's the airplane? Hopscotch's mummy tried begging him, please, just this once. Look, he put pants on his head. She even tried chocolate cake. Look, it's your favorite. But nothing worked. Look, he got oven mitts on his ears. <laughs> one day, Hopscotch's big cousin Bobtail came to stay, just for one night and a day. Hopscotch and Bobtail played high jump, long jump. Then they listened for danger as they rescued Rabbity from the lion's den. The cat sleeping on the table. <laughs> They're pretending he's a lion. They played and played until all too soon it was supper time. When can I go and stay by myself at Bobtails? asked Hopscotch through a mouthful of extra chocolatey chocolate cake. When you were big, little Hopscotch, said Daddy. When you were big. After supper, it was time for a bath. Hopscotch was happily playing submarines when he noticed something odd. Bobtail was washing his own ears. He didn't seem to mind the runway soap, not one bit. And he didn't get sneezes at all. Not one sneeze. Hmm. Hopscotch felt it might be a good idea to practice ear watching on Rabbity first. Rabbity didn't seem to mind it at all. In fact, they had fun with all the bubbles. What are you up to, Hopscotch? asked Daddy. I'm practicing, said Hopscotch. Practicing what? asked Daddy. Practicing washing my ears so I can be big and go stay with, Bob with Bobtail all by myself, said Hopscotch. Well, said Daddy, that's wonderful. Hopscotch knew what he liked and what he really liked. He liked bath time with Rabbity and Queen Soapy Ears. He really liked his song with Mummy to celebrate his very clean ears. Soapy, soapy, soapy ears, soapy ears, soapy ears, washy, washy, washy ears, washy ears, washy ears, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy ears, fluffy ears, fluffy ears, all day long. Woo! And best of all, he liked packing his favorite games. Waving goodbye to Mummy and Daddy. <gasps> Looks like he's going to his cousin's house and going to stay with his big buzzing. Big Cousin Bobtail for one whole day and a night all by himself. Well, almost. Rabbity came too. The end.